everybody, it's Ryzen 51 here, your Angel of Light, William X. Moore. Let's play Haunted Mansion. Last time we did, um, uh, trying to remember, we did the conservatory in the game room. And we got our first soul gem, or, well, our second soul gem, I guess, of the game. Oh, I can't even go this way yet. <laughs> kind of want to get ahead of the game, I guess. Maybe anyway, we're going to head to the right way that we should be going to, that is... The downstairs hallway. Now, uh, this room, uh, there will be more areas so we'll be able to go through. It was in the spring of 1855 when I first came to the mansion. That was shortly after the owners first felt the evil presence here. While the owners were away, I was ambushed by forces greater than mere evil spirits. In the end, Atticus bound me within my own crystal ball, as you see me now. Oh. I shudder to think of the owner's fate. But things will be different this time, child. I promise you that. Oh boy. I definitely have to fix my uh, playlist because I actually called uh, the antagonist on this an Agathor instead of uh, Atticus Thorn. <laughs> Whoopsie. Anyway. Oh boy. Uh, hello? Ah, yeah, watch out, uh, stuff we coming through the door, uh, some other rooms that we can't access yet. And let's say we're heading to the kitchen. Uh, this room's interesting, but we're also going to get a new enemy as well right there. And I'm going to turn the volume down on my headset, because... This is ran loud. Oh boy. That wasn't as loud as all of me. Okay, I didn't get her a chance to attack, which I'm actually kind of glad I didn't. Oh boy. Yowza! Okay, take care of all the evil spirits. Another card. Uh, I think we have to trick the scene here. See, it's another puzzle, as always. There will always be a puzzle you have to do in every room. And that plate is going to be your requirement. have a little purple fire going on. You want to basically break every single bottle you can in this room. And you want that flame to reach the uh reach the end of the uh, the room over here. Now some of these are pretty easy to do. And uh some can be a little tricky. Excellent. May have to get a little crafty with the plate throwing. Damn, oh wait. Alright. Uh anyway, can you uh, throw the plate over here, please? Oh yeah, this one's interesting. You want to uh, stand right behind here. Well, the plate. Oops. Uh, you want to plate. You want the plate to hit this stack of. I guess this is flour. Anyway, do this right. Break that bottle there. That one's a little tricky to work with at times, but if uh, you do it right, it'll work. I'm trying to see if it'll hit this one here. Ah, excellent. Okay, oh, wait, there's a car up here. Um... Uh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I gotta jump enough. Good, good, good. Okay. Next one, please. Jump in here. 
right. Um, okay, a little jump in action here. How about now? Can you hit the plate now? Or the ball now, please? Thank you very much. Um, okay, that flame's getting close. Oh, yeah, we need to hit these bottles here. Uh, right here, if you don't mind. Another bottle. Alright, uh, one more here. I think we're near the end now. Now I just need to hit this one. Right down the old alley. Alright, here we go. Oh, hey. Searching. I think I missed one. I swore I missed one here. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, no, not in the corner. Oh, I did miss one. Eh. Really? Did I just lose the other soul now? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, now I got it. Finally. Uh, where's our ghost, by the way? Here, uh, oh, hello, sir. Ever suffer anxiety attacks, acute paranoia, always feel like something horrible could leap out at you at any moment. <laughs> well, then, do I have a yeah. tonic for you, friend? Yeah, let's hear it, <gasps> friend. Have I got something for you? <laughs> Do you suffer anxiety attacks? Acute paranoia? Always feel like something... Okay, I thought he actually was going to say something, but... Pfft, he's just chattering away. Yep, yep, yep. That was a short amount of time, so we'll go ahead and do another room. Okay, we're gonna head to the maid's room this time, and... Oh boy, I forgot. Watch this. Yeah, this room's a maze. It's a maze we get to go through. Yay! See these doors, so uh, I would definitely recommend going through. I right, take care of spider. Um, can't get lost in here. Oh jeez. I mean, I'm trying to think of something off uh, off topic here. Um. Should I have something to talk about, honestly? I cannot think of anything. Oh. Fun fact for uh, any Yu-Gi-Oh players out there. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. 
I die, die. That's all I was saying. Um, for a guy who hasn't picked gone oh goes for cards often. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. I don't rarely go for Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Haven't gone for Yu-Gi-Oh packs lately for months. And crazy enough, very first two packs I pull from the Judgment of Light, I immediately get a Star Eater just like that. Hell. Oh yeah, if you don't kill that, um, if I'm correct, these are Banshees. Yeah, I think we'll get the right turn. They are, uh, they are Banshees. They're those ones that, uh, they're, they're like females, they're, they're female women, but, uh, they like scream so loud. They're like more like evil spirit like banshees. Not there yet. Really guys, I really have no idea where I'm going. So I'm just hoping for the best. I have a sun chance near the end. Oh, yes, yes, yes! I was! Oh, good! <laughs> I did good then. I did good. Alright, there we go. And we got our district certificate. Yeah, I was able to pull a 11 star synchro uh, star here. I was very lucky. Well, where can he be? It's almost time. No, I'm fine. I'm sure he'll be along soon. I hope so, madam. I hope so. Anyway, another book, so let's go ahead and read it. We must have the beacon of souls. The Brotherhood has been wise to keep it hidden from us. In secret it travels. From the mountains of Italy to the valleys of Spain, always just beyond our grasp. But our eyes and ears are everywhere, and the beacon will be found. I will scour the ends of the earth until it is located. So it is written, and so it shall be. Is really wants that beacon that badly, huh? Well, if you want it, Akis, then come get it, fella. 15 minutes, huh? huh? Yeah, let's keep going. We're making good time, we're making good progress. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this charge to be safe. And be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and save, because you never knew. Good day to you, little spider, because I'm not going to fight you right now. Oh, the dining room's next. Okay. Um, this one's, this room's not too bad. Yep, my search is up there. Simple enough. Oh, shit. Good day. Thank you. Come again. <sighs> All right. Um. So yeah, this looks simple, huh? Just pull the switch. But now look. Yeah, we gotta go get those candles. So yeah, simple enough. Just grab the candles and uh. Oh, 
Oh, uh, if I didn't mention, uh, my advertising professor, uh, so yeah, we were actually doing a chicken foot, uh, thing in my, in my, uh, advertising class in college, and, um, she really thought I should really get into acting. So I had to tell my parents that now they're thinking I should take, uh, um, I should be able to go for another degree in a college. That's kind of a question I kind of want to ask you guys, too. Is it possible to go ahead and get another degree in college after you have graduated with the degree you've worked for? Also, will financial aid uh, still cover for you? Or will you have to start paying for all those classes yourself instead? See, so, yeah, I'm just curious about that. If you guys... I really need an honest answer. If you guys do know, great. If you guys don't, it's perfectly fine. Wait, do I have all the candles? So, let's go here now. Oh, no, I missed one. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay, so now we can go ahead and put it back. <laughs> kind of like that. The laughter of children. You gotta love it. Alright. Another room completed. There'll be a spider. I don't know, there'll be plenty of enemies spawning. Because we got 20 souls to get, so. At least we have four rounds of spawning. One more, thank you. I got a feeling. There we go. Alright, we're halfway done. Hmm. I got a feeling. So why is it not here? Gotta be ready for anything. Oh, hello. I uh, did not meant to find that, but I will take uh, another extra life. Wow, that piece completes the organist death certificate. All right, so we got another death certificate already done. Oh, jeez. Bye-bye. Alright. All done. Whew. Okay. Uh, before I talk to this gentleman here, I'm going to check if there is anything else we need to get. Sometimes it is. Like those cards, for instance. You Shoot. Yeah, even that booze would actually be in a Nice little boost. I want to get it. I want to get it because I, I can really use some help right now heading into the next room. Because since we completed a death certificate, the next room will obviously have another soul gem, which means I'm sure the next room is going to be a little more challenging. Alright, we've got full health now. Ah, oh, hey, Bumble Doll. Alright, more health for us. Alright, that's everything. Uh, now, what is this? Uh, I think it's a gent. Madam? The Emperor in danger. <laughs> I'm afraid you underestimate the loyalty of my subject. If you say so, Mr. Emperor. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, I think we're going to go ahead and stop here for today. Next episode, we are going to go find the Organist and get our third Soul Gem of the... Well, okay, technically our second Soul Gem, because we already got... I guess it is the third one. I, I don't know. We got one from Man Leota. We got the second one from the... That weird guy. I forgot his name. And now we're going to get the or, uh, Organist Soul Gem. Should be interesting. See you guys in the next part then. Later, folks.